And the Anglican Bishop, right, Reverend Emmanuel Adekunle, has predicted a victory over any form of security challenges currently bedeviling Nigeria. Writing from the third session of the 15th uh, Synod of Egba Diocese of the Anglican Communion, the cleric said there will be no war in the country. Our correspondent, Olusego Lukoga, um, has a report. We'll bring that report uh, sometime uh, during the news. And still talking security matters, the national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, Uche Sekandes, has called on the federal government to hire more people into Nigeria's security agencies. He made this call on Monday at a press conference in Abuja. Mr. Sekandes also called for the early passage of the Electoral Act Amendment Bill. Stakeholders in Nigeria's socio-economic, political and religious spaces have been raising fresh alarms over general states of insecurity in some parts of the country. With so much concerns on the seeming inability of government to decisively deal with the menace and protect the citizenry from attendant terrible aftermaths. The mismanagement of situation confronting the nation from different sectors has added up to different crises and unrest that are erupting all around us, such as the exiles protests. A vision of the people are in some regions, regional agitation for independence, the demand for the law of power to regional government, to the city for true and total liberality. These and others are gradually becoming higher ahead, and there is the need to provide solutions or means of abating its negative resultant effect on the national life of the people. The Anglican Church is, however, calling for prayers over Nigeria's situation warned against unhelpful advices in the presidency. The government needs to be proactive in ensuring that profound solutions and discipline cut across every class without treating the evil perpetrators with kids' gloves or taking members of the section of the country as secret towns. The cleric warns governments at all levels to stand firm to addressing some of the national problems, particularly food and unemployment crisis. The government should encourage the farmers with free vendors, improve seeds, seedlings, and other inputs. The advantage of many rivers flowing through the country to be made use of with modern day irrigation and farm methods. Youth, outdoors, and other peasants should be trained in modern techniques in farming and form them into clusters. Why the government should be the obstacles and help in marketing. It is in that sense that I insist that this is where one of us should be running to at this point for all what we see happening not just in our country, in our state, but around the entire planet. It has made us, this city has made us appreciate that only God and how can we find refuge? The church maintained that national security is paramount to keeping the country's heritage. To this end, is advising the federal government to adequately re-strategize for positive results. Olushegun, Olukoga, Silverbed News 24, Abekota.